just days away from Gretchen Whitmer being sworn in as the next governor of Michigan. But before that, Governor Rick Snyder, of course, is closing out his term. He signed multiple bills into law, some of them controversial. 7 Action News reporter Naya Harden is joining us live with more on this. And Naya, how are voters reacting so far? Well, Alicia, it seems they have a lot of mixed emotions about all of these decisions being made. And a lot of them we want to tell you about and break them down for you. One of the first ones being a big one we've been talking about for quite some time now. This is having to deal with the baby box legislation that would have given Michigan parents surrendering an unwanted infant the ability to place them in a newborn safety device at a hospital, police, or fire station. The boxes would have locked from the outside and triggered a call to 911 within 30 seconds. The governor vetoing it, saying he'd rather see the out physically handed to a first responder or a hospital worker. Two things were signed off by the governor, though. One authorizes oral care to be performed by dental therapists aimed at extending access to dental care. The therapist would be allowed to do a variety of routine procedures previously limited to dentists. Also signed off a bill by state senator-elect Pete Lucido of Shelby Township, making cyberbullying a crime punishable by up to 93 days in jail and a $500 fine. It could rise to a felony with harsher penalties if a pattern exists, something getting support from a lot of people. You got a lot of young people now that are more influenced to handling it themselves and it leads to depression and now it leads to suicide. Now, Governor-elect Whitmer, she is actually supposed to be swearing in on Tuesday at noon, so that means there is still time for current Governor Rick Snyder to make some changes. Of course, we will continue to keep you updated. Naya Harden, 7 Action News.